Hi, welcome to our space. I'm glad you could join us. This is our last session of On the Seven I Am statements Jesus made, which are recorded in the Gospel of John. Each time Jesus says I am, he is saying that he is God. Each I am statement also reveals to us a new part of Jesus' character. It tells us a little more about who Jesus is. Let's see if we can remember the six I am statements we have learnt, heard so far. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And Jesus said, I am the gate to the sheepfold. And Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The last I am statement is found in John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. Let's listen to them. I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more fruit. You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it's cut off from the vine, and you cannot be fruit fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile and to be burned. But if you remain in me and my word remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great joy to my father. With all the I am um, statements, Jesus uses everyday things as illustrations. Jesus said he is a true, true grapevine. I don't think many of us have much experience with grapevines, but, most, but people in Jesus' time would have been very familiar with grapevines. They grew everywhere. We could imagine the vine Jesus is talking about as a tree. Jesus is the trunk of that tree and the roots that go deep down into the ground. All of the branches are connected to the tree or the grapevine. The branches cannot produce leaves and fruit by themselves. If you break a branch off an apple tree and keep it in your room, are apples going to grow off that branch? Of course not. The branch can't grow fruit unless it is attached to the tree trunk. Grapes don't grow unless the branch is attached to the grapevine. So Jesus is the grapevine. Who do you think the, the branches are in this illustration? That's right, we are the branches. We can only grow and bear fruit when we are attached to Jesus. Now in verse 1, Jesus said he is the true grapevine. Any great branch that gets cut off from the vine dies. Anyone who wants to grow as a Christian needs to stay attached to Jesus without Jesus. We die spiritually. If you want to go to heaven and spend all of forever with Jesus, we have to stick with him. The branches need the vine to survive, but the vine does not need the to need to branches to survive. Jesus says in this passage that we can only produce fruit when we remain in him. What fruit is Jesus talking about? Fruit is the good stuff that comes out of your of your life when you fall off, remain in and cling to Jesus. So that's all we have in this series. We'll start something new next week. Let's pray to finish. One, two, three. Thank you for this time together this morning, Lord. Thank you for being with us and being our grapevine. Help us, Lord, to cling to you. And that we can remain in you and produce fruit to others. I pray, Lord, for your protection for us throughout the rest of the day. 
and that we will be safe and sound. And remember that you are the true grapevine and the most important thing in our life. I ask this in your name. Amen. Bye-bye.